Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, July 20th. It is Nikki Torres in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. I am filling in for Mark this morning as well as for tomorrow. It is going to be a pretty hot week that we have ahead of us, at least for the next few days up until Wednesday. We'll see a little bit of a cool down towards Thursday and Friday, and Thursday and Friday it's actually just going to dip down into the mid 80s. So kind of similar to what we saw from this last weekend. For right now, it is a uh, uh, just past 10 15 on, in the morning and we're already at 77 degrees in Spokane 89 over in Moses Lake and we are seeing upper 70s for Pullman and Lewiston as well we are going to heat up quite a bit the heat is really just the weather story for today so we need to make sure that we're being responsible make sure that you are staying hydrated wear a lot of SPF you do not want to burn over the next few days that will not be fun um, please also make sure that you have all of your pets um, enjoying the air conditioning inside. Um, bring them inside for a little bit during the hottest part of the day, especially to give them a little bit of a break. Um, also make sure that you don't leave any kids or pets in cars. Um, it's just too hot for that today, especially um, if you're going to be walking your pet. Um, a good rule of thumb on the pavement is if you can't leave you the back of your hand on the pavement, um, then that means that it's too hot for you and it is too hot for your pet. So just keep that in mind. These are your temperatures um, again right now, but let me see. This is your high temperature for, t for today. Um, 92 degrees in Spokane, 99 over in Moses Lake. Notice how we're very close to 100 to triple digits in some of these cities like OMAC and Lewiston. Moses Lake, very close to triple digits. Um, those areas are actually looking at triple for tomorrow. So we're only going to get warmer from here. We'll calm back down just a little bit and cool down towards Wednesday, but not by much. So 101 for Wenatchee for today. We're going to get very close to 100 in Lewiston, um, again, as well as OMAC. You can see here, these are your temperatures for, uh, or this is your temperature for tomorrow in Spokane, so 96 degrees, sunny and a lot hotter. Winds are overall going to stay mainly light, so we're not going to have a lot of wind speeds uh, cranking up over the next few days, but uh, that just means that we'll have to self-cool ourselves with a, a nice fan, maybe some water, that would be nice. These are your high temperatures for tomorrow. Now, keep in mind that Tuesday is going to be the warmest day of this uh, warming trend. So just keep that in mind. If you already think it's warm today, be prepared because tomorrow it's going to be even warmer. But the nice thing is, um, is really it's just going to be tomorrow. So those of you who are not fans of the heat, it's not going to sustain itself for very long. It is going to still be warm, but it won't be as hot as it will be for tomorrow. Because take a look at this. We have a bunch of, a handful of them of uh, triple digit heat. So OMAC at 100, 101 in Moses Lake. If you're going to be in Tri-Cities for tomorrow, 102. So it is heating up throughout several parts of the region. Here in Spokane, we are expecting 96 degrees towards downtown, over towards Spokane Valley, about 95 degrees, then 91 over in Coeur d'Alene. North Idaho is showing uh, temperatures just a little bit cooler um, than everyone else throughout this warming trend. Temperatures overnight, we're not going to cool down by much. We're actually getting into the 60s, some parts even close to 70s on there for this evening's low temperature is 63 for Spokane Valley as well as Coeur d'Alene, upper 50s for Pullman and Deer Park, 62 for Bonners Ferry. Now, I want you to look at uh, the satellite radar loop because this kind of just shows you what's going on throughout the Pacific Northwest and the Inland Northwest as you have it on here. So we do have some moisture that's kind of heading out towards the eastern part of Montana, but really that's all of the moisture on that map towards our part of the region at least because you can see Seattle, Spokane, Portland, Boise, everything within Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, it is all pretty clear. And it's going to stay that way really for the next few days. You can already see it on here on the 24 hour forecast. There's not a lot to report. We're not even going to see that much cloud cover over the next few days. We do have some developing over the mountains, but other than that is going to be very clear, minimal winds. And we are also going to see um, a lot of sunshine out there, which again, lather on the sunscreen. Don't be stingy with it because we are going to see a lot of sunlight over the next few days. Take a look at how this plays into your work week. Happy Monday, by the way. 92, 96, 92. So what you're feeling today, that's what we are expecting for Wednesday. So you can kind of 
you can kind of pick and choose what you want to what you want to do for Wednesday based on what you experience for today. 96 degrees for tomorrow in Spokane again. Keep in mind, however, there are some regions, some parts of the region rather, that are going to be a lot warmer than 96. It just depends on where you are. Moses Lake, Lewiston, Tri-Cities, OMAC, those areas are going to be in the triple digits on Tuesday. Now watch, there's a little bit of a drop off in 86 degrees, uh, mid to upper 80s. That's pretty much what we were experiencing from this past weekend. So again, if you already thought it was warm, I know a lot of people thought it was really warm this past weekend. It's only going to get even hotter. So just keep that in mind. You want to stay hydrated. You want to wear a lot of sunscreen. Again, don't forget about kids and pets in the car. Please don't leave them there. It is too hot for that. You also want to check on some of our elderly folks, maybe a neighbor, just to make sure that they're okay as well. Um, WCOT, we had just put out an article on KXLY.com. They are asking everyone to please be responsible about um, if you're going to be taking a road trip or really just be on the road over this uh, next few days because um, they have been seeing an increase over the past several weeks for roadside fires. And as we know in the past, those roadside fires can easily spread into a very large brush fire and very quickly. So if we all do our part, we can all make sure that there are no roadside fires throughout these next few days when really we have to be mindful because it just takes one little spark for something to really burn up. And it, that goes the same for uh, burn restrictions. I know that we also posted something on that on our website. It should be on the homepage as well. If not, it is linked in the article about uh, WSTOT asking drivers to be mindful about roadside fires. Um, take a read at that. They're very simple articles, just uh, kind of keep in, your, in the back of your mind about things that we can all do do our part just to make sure that uh, we don't cause any fires um, over the next few days. So um, that is all I have. It is going to be a very sunny, very warm work week. Be sure to just keep a water bottle on hand before you head out the door. It's always a good idea to just fill one up. Hydro flasks are really in style right now. Bring your hydro flask and uh, just make sure that you can keep cool. Any pets outside, maybe uh, bring them in for a little bit. Give them a bit of a break from the heat, especially during the hottest part of the day, right around 3 four o'clock. That's when it's really going to peak in temperature. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, that is all I have for you. Again, I am going to fill in for Mark once again for tomorrow, and then he'll be back towards midweek um, when it'll be 92 degrees. All right, make it a great work week. Have a fabulous Monday.